Okay, I'm working on an optical trigger for my coil gun. This is a microcontroller kit that I got for Christmas um, last year. I have a 5 volt power supply hooked up for my sensor. Um, the dark one right here is the infrared LED. This clear one here is the photo transistor. See, so I got a pretty big resistor for the infrared LED because it needs. 150 milliamps at 1.3 volts, so that's what the online calculator told me. One watt or greater. Um, and I have actually two wires dedicated to the power for that because this is awfully thin wire, and I've got a plug. Um, these two wires coming from the power supply are actually the leads for the photo transistor. Um, look it up here. This camera has an infrared filter on it, so you can't really see the infrared light. So, you'll just have to believe me that it's on. So, plug it in. Uh, you might be able to see that. I don't think you can, though. Oh, and this is also a little holder I made for my projectiles out of some Delrin and aluminum. Uh, Okay, when I break the beam here with this, this light will turn on, and you can't really see it, but there's a beeper right there that will go off. So. What concerns me, though, is that there's a delay from the time that the beep goes off and the LED goes off. So I probably won't be able to drive the SCRs or whatever I do to switch the coil from the PWM output. Might be able to. Might somehow have to use the beep or change some of the software. So. And if I drop it through. Let's see the LED only goes off for a short time then. If I get the projectile just right in here, I can get it to go off really fast. Yeah, I see it. There you go, there's the optical trigger for my coil gun in its early stages. I still have to tweak the software, as I said, to so that it sends it to a different output. So I can actually trigger the SCRs. So, there you go.